Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, I will talk about C4 cycle. Uh, so first uh, we need to know about the differences between C3 plants and C4 plants. In C3 plants the first product is 3 carbon compound that is phosphoglycerate. In C4 plants where the uh, C4 acid cycle uh, will occur the first carbon compound is uh, 4 carbon first uh, product is 4 carbon compound that is oxaloacetic acid it is also known as oxaloacetate c3 plants in which c3 cycle is occurring they grow in cool and wet regions while c c4 plants they grow in warm and drier regions in c3 plant uh, inside the leaves the crans anatomy is absent now what is crans crans is a german word for wreath wreath means that the flowers they are arranged in a ring ring shape crans anatomy means that uh, the mesophyll cells they will be clustered around bundle sheet cells so if this is the bundle sheet cell the mesophyll cells they will be clustered around it and they will form a ring shape structure so this is the Kranz anatomy Kranz anatomy is absent in C3 plants but uh, Kranz anatomy is present in C4 plants where the mesophyll cells they are clustered around bundle sheet cells and the presence of uh, the other difference is the presence of chloroplasts in bundle sheet cells uh, these are absent in C3 plants but present in C4 plants carbon dioxide fixation through C3 cycle occurs in C3 plants in only one type of tissues even then the they will have the other type of tissues will be present the chloroplast tissues will be present in the leaf but it will occur only in mesophyll cells while uh, carbon dioxide fixation occurs in two types of cells mesophyll cells and then some of the one of the uh, the products is transported to bundle sheet cells where rest of the cycle will run and then they will finally return the products to mesophyll cells where the cycle will continue so here is an anatomy of the bundle sheet cells and mesophyll cells so bundle sheet cells is generally surrounding the xylem and the phloem and mesophyll cells they are surrounding in a ring shape uh, these bundle sheet cells what is the basic c4 cycle c4 cycle starts uh, by absorbing atmospheric carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide then converts into bicarbonate and then this bicarbonate is formed inside the mesophyll cells and then bicarbonate reacts with phosphoenol pyruvate this phase is known as carboxylation phase or carboxylation phase in which acid is synthesized from carbon dioxide so the acid which will be synthesized it will have four carbons that's why this acid is known as C4 acid now this acid in mesophyll cell is transported through the plasmodesmata through plasmodesmata between the tissues and then it is transported to bundle sheet cells in bundle sheet cells 
decarboxylation step occurs carbon dioxide is released and uh, c3 acid is synthesized this carbon dioxide then enters into kelvin cycle cycle which is the normal kelvin cycle and they will synthesize sugars so c4 plants they do not need photorespiration and photorespiration is absent in them this c3 acid will be transported back to mesophyll cells and here they will regenerate phosphoenol pyruvate therefore this step is known as regeneration of phosphoenol pyruvate so how many steps are there carboxylation transport of the c4 acid to the bundle sheet cell second step and this this one is occurring due to the diffusion gradient third step is decarboxylation that is carbon dioxide is released and c3 acid is synthesized carbon dioxide enters kelvin cycle and c3 acid is again transported to mesophyll cells where the fourth step is the regeneration of PEP phosphoenol pyruvate so these are the four steps of uh, basic steps in C4 uh, cycle one of them is fixation of carbon dioxide through carboxylation of phosphoenol pyruvate in the mesophyll cells they form C4 acid so which acid will be synthesized it may be either malate or aspartate or both of them then these acids they are transported to bundle sheet cells from mesophyll cells then the third step is decarboxylation of c4 acid in which the carbon dioxide is released and it enters to the kelvin cycle where it is reduced to carbohydrate then the c3 acid which was the result of decarboxylation or decarboxylation it is transported back to the mesophyll cells and then in the form of pyruvate or alanine where it will regenerate it will regenerate pep phosphoenol pyruvate uh the some of the details of uh, this carboxylation transport of malate to the bundle sheet cells and decarboxylation step and then transport of pyruvate to uh, again to mesophyll cells and regeneration of phosphoenol pyruvic acid are explained here that in this is this is little bit, this is explained in a uh, little bit more detail now carbon dioxide in the presence of carbonic anhydrase and two adp molecules they synthesize they are converted to bicarbonate so this adp is synthesized from one atp molecule or and one amp uh, mon adenosine monophosphate and adenosine triphosphate so there are three phosphate groups and in amp there is one phosphate group total phosphate groups are four so four phosphate groups they will be in, uh, in the form of adp 2 plus 2 so uh, they will react in the presence of adenylene adenylate kinase enzyme and they will produce two molecules of adenosine diphosphate so because the diphosphate has two phosphate and two molecules are produced so 2 plus 2 will be there and then this bicarbonate reacts with phosphoenol pyruvate in the presence of phosphoenol pyruvate carboxylase enzyme carboxylation or carboxylation step occurs and the acid is synthesized which consists of four carbons and this four carbon compound is oxaloacetate oxaloacetate in the presence of malate dehydrogenase and nadph releases synthesizes 
malate or malic acid and NAD plus is released. Then malate it is transported through plasmodesmata. Plasmodesmata are the uh, bridges between two tissues and uh, this malate is transported due to diffusion gradient or concentration gradient to bundle sheet cells where malic enzyme and NADP plus they help in converting malate into carbon dioxide and NADPH is synthesized. This carbon dioxide then enters Kelvin cycle and malate is converted into pyruvate. Malate was 4 carbon compound and py pyruvate will be is the 3 carbon compound. This pyruvate diffuses back through plasmodes matter to mesophyll cells and in the presence of pyruvate, phosphate, dikinase enzyme and uses consumes energy in the form of ATP and it regenerates phosphoenol pyruvate so the cycle is completed and the cycle continues in that manner. So how these metabolites they are transported? Shuttling means transport of uh, something. So the shuttling of metabolites between mesophyll and bundle sheet cells they are driven by diffusion gradient through numerous plasmodesmata. The cycle shuttles transports carbon dioxide from atmosphere into bundle sheet cells where the, the cycle generates higher concentration of carbon dioxide. This higher concentration of carbon dioxide is enough for Rubisco enzyme to bind this carbon dioxide with the to uh, with the uh, uh, ribulose biphosphate rather than oxygen atmospheric oxygen so photorespiration it does not occur in c4 plants the uh, pep carboxylase enzyme and Phosphoenol pyruvate, which is regenerated here, they act uh, as carbon dioxide concentrating pump. So, here the energy is required, and then they will work in the cycle, they will react in the cycle. So, what are what are the benefits of C4 cycle in C, C4 plants? C4 photosynthesis it minimizes photorespiration and enhances sugar production because these plants they grow in warm climate and they do not need photorespiration. So uh, in the photos, uh, photorespiration it was the, considered as the wasteful process because it utilizes all the energy, the energy which is uh, in the form of ATP and NADPH and this energy was generated in, um, uh, in light reaction but uh, the photorespiration process it uh, uh, wastes that energy and at the end they do not synthesize sugars also so uh, but in c4 plants uh, they, they, they these are also growing in the hot and dry climate so they have evolved themselves that they do not need uh, photorespiration but they convert the uh, carbon dioxide into the first product with a uh, four carbon compound product and then this cycle which is the C4 acid cycle will help in uh, higher sugar production. So this adaptation is uh, helpful where it is helpful where in especially for the plants which are growing in hot regions and in th those hot regions there will be intense sunlight so these plants they will uh, close their stomata partially during the day. So in such environments C4 plants they have evolved themselves and they are surviving today they are growing and, uh, and flourishing very well nowadays. 
so what are the factors that regulate c4 cycle so one of the uh, major factors is light and uh, this light generally regulates the activity of enzymes which are uh, involved in c4 cycle the main enzymes so one of the uh, key enzymes is NADP malate dehydrogenase enzymes so whenever the plant is exposed to the sunlight so under sunlight uh, NADP malate dehydrogenase enzyme is activated it means it is reduced and the same enzyme will be inactive in the dark it means it is oxidized so in hot and dry climates c4 cycle reduces photorespiration and water loss uh, and how they uh, prevent water loss because their uh, stomata these are partially closed in the daytime thank you very much